MobiFlight just released their 9.1.0.1 update. What does this mean? Arduino Unos are now supported. I usually use Arduino Megas. I like to say that the Arduino Mega is the 737 of the skies. It can get you places and it has a ton of pins. If every single seat is filled, this one is cheaper to use than this one. This one is cheaper, but it doesn't have as many pins. Let's see how it compares to the other ones uh, and just see what's new with it. So when we hop into MobiFlight, let's see what happens. I created a tutorial on how to download and install MobiFlight, so make sure to go check that out in the description below. Some boards have old firmware, update them now. So the firmware update was successful, and now we have a MobiFlight Mega and an unknown. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Oh, there's another Arduino connected to the PC. I think this is one of the features. It updates one at a time. And so this one is the Mega. It's the one we did first. And then there's the Arduino, Uno. I'm using two Arduinos in this example. You only need one. I'm just showing two to show that the process is exactly the same. The firmware was successful. So now we have the Uno and the Mega. The Mega already has something figured to it. Let's do a switch on the Uno. Out of the gate, you can't use pins zero and one. This is because they're used for Arduino communication stuff. You can use all of the pins here until A5. This is really cool because out of the gate, they have support for the analog pins. The MobiFlight Mega or the Arduino Mega didn't have these analog pins at first. So it's really cool to see these in the first version. So let's just configure pin two to a switch. Let's do the same with the MobiFlight Mega. So we updated them one at a time. You can name it whatever you want. Le MobiFlight Mega. Press OK. And let's just make a simple landing gear switch. Let's activate it go to input let's do the uno first and then we'll just duplicate it for the mega we're going to use our switch with a microsoft flight sim 2020 event under group we'll say uh microsoft generic gear so when we press these the switch together let's make it gear up and when it's releasing it'll be gear down microsoft generic gear so now there's a wire on pin two, a wire on the ground pin. Because this is an on off switch, the wiring doesn't matter as long as it connects two of these pins. And if it's the wrong position, you can either switch the on press and on release, or you can just switch which two it connect the circuit with, or you can even just rotate it around. But we're going to do the ground pin in the middle. It's good practice to have the common pin in the middle. Then we'll have the other wire on the top. So here's our circuit. It goes from pin two, connects to the switch, and goes into ground. I'll connect an identical one to the Arduino Mega. We have our MobiFlight Uno right here. What we can do is we can duplicate this row, so we have a copy of it, deactivate it, because it's going to be the Mega, and we don't want two of the same functions happening at the same time. Uh, it just get confused. And we're going to put this on the Le MobiFlight Mega. That's uh, this one. So then it's going to also be configured to the switch and fantastic. And once we load the flight simulator, we can see if it works. The Cessna 172 doesn't have landing gear. We are on a 10 mile final. And if we click the gear switch, it goes in the up position, flick it again, goes in the down position. So if we wanted to switch this around because it doesn't look like it uh, corresponds, you can just switch the wiring over here to this pin and it'll work correctly. Or we can go under the configuration and switch it from up to down and on here from down to up. That'll just swap the pins basically. We're gonna swap the pins in real life from over here to the bottom over here. Down, up works correctly. This works exactly like the Arduino Mega. Uh, I haven't noticed anything crazy. In fact, if we switch over to the Arduino Mega, 
It works exactly the same. This is an incredible feature in Moby Flight, and I'm really excited they implemented it. It's so cool to see what the Moby Flight developers have done. Let me know what you're excited to use the Mega for in the comments below, and have a fantabulous rest of your day. Have a good one.